Now we're going to talk about multiplicities of zeros. We looked at, uh, in the last example, we looked at some uh, how to find multiplicities. Now we're going to talk about kind of what they mean. Uh, the multiplicity of zeros, we basically have two types. We could have an odd multiplicity or an even multiplicity. And if it, there's an odd multiplicity, our graph crosses the x-axis at that zero. Uh, if there's an even multiplicity, the graph bounces off the x-axis at that zero. So if you look at this example right here where we have a multiplicity of one, uh, as you can see, it just crosses at the zero. Where an even multiplicity like this one, uh, you can see your graph, it does not cross the x-axis, it bounces. So if it's coming from above the x-axis, it will touch the x-axis and go back up. Or if it's coming from below the x-axis, it will come up, touch the x-axis, and then go back down. And then multiplicity of 3, uh, you can see our example right here. Again, it crosses the x-axis. Now, the multiplicity is going to be very similar to the actual function that has that degree. So if you look at the multiplicity of 1, it looks like a linear function. The multiplicity of 2 looks like a quadratic. And then multiplicity of 3 looks like a cubic function. So you'll see that characteristic as you look at the multiplicities of different zeros.